Hey everybody, this is Ryan. I'm here with you to show off my Alfred Hitchcock collection. And as you can see, these are two posters that I have that I got at Universal Studios at two different times. And I just love these posters and I wanted to share them with y'all. And these are actually both hanging in my bathroom. So I figured, what better place to hang a Psycho poster than in a bathroom? So I thought those were really cool ones to share them with you. There's my movies. Alright. First one, The Birds. Eh, it's a so-and-so okay movie. I think it's highly overrated, and I think it wasn't his best, but for some reason it's one of his most popular. But still a good movie, The Birds. Marnie is one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movies. Definitely my favorite out of his later films, and I think it's highly underrated because I think it's a good film. I think it's different, but I still think it's a great film. So definitely check this one out. The next one is another highly underrated film, Torn Curtain, starring Paul Newman and Julie Andrews. This is a great Cold War type um, thriller, and I just think it's amazing. It's highly underrated. Check it out. Next film is Frenzy, which is kind of like a Albert Hitchcock's take on like a Jack the Ripper kind of tale. Good movie. It was his second to last movie, and it's his first movie to earn an R rating. And so, and I know some of you might be saying, well, Psycho was rated R. Well, Psycho was rated R, but when it came out, when Psycho came out, there was no rating system. And so that it was just labeled M. It wasn't re-rated R until later. And so this was actually the first one that earned an R rating. So, I figured I'd give you a little bit of trivia right there. The next film is his last film, Family Plot. And uh, I like this film. I think it's definitely, it's, it's a light film. And I think that's why it just doesn't get a lot of good, um, it doesn't have a really good reputation because he didn't leave with a bang. You know, Alfred Hitchcock didn't pass away or retire with a bang. And that's the thing. It, it's, it's more of like a trouble with Harry in atmosphere. It's kind of funny, but then not. It's just a really light film, but I like it. The next film is definitely one of Alfred Hitchcock's best, and it won Best Picture, and it's Rebecca. And... This is like the best, one of the best Alfred Hitchcock movies. It's so mesmerizing, and it's such a great, like, it has such great artistic abilities put forth in this movie because, you know, the atmosphere and everything. It's a great film. You need to watch it. The next film is a silent film of Hitchcock, and it's The Lodger, A Story of the London Fog. In this film, he actually takes, like, an Alf or a Jack the Ripper character, pretty much. This was made in 27, so... It's a silent film, but it's basically about a Jack the Ripper type person, and it's a great film. Um, like I said, it's a silent film, so if you're not into silent movies, which I think everybody should be because they're incredibly amazing, um, anyway, either way, you have to check this out. The next film is my favorite fun Hitchcock movie, it's my, so it's my second favorite Hitchcock movie. It's Rear Window. It's a fun movie. It's very suspenseful and artistic and... It's a very creative movie. I mean, who would have thought that an entire um, movie would take place in one apartment? So, it's a good movie. Check it out. The next film is the best Alfred Hitchcock movie of all time. Vertigo, starring Jimmy Stewart. Great psychological thriller. One of the best psychological thrillers of all time. I think if Alfred Hitchcock is remembered for one film, it should be this. It's amazing. I Have Strangers on a Train, great film. Rope, which is one of my favorite films that he did. Uh, it's very short, and it plays out kind of in real time. And it's a very creative way of filming, too. It's, it looks like he filmed it in one nonstop take, but he actually filmed it in 10-minute intervals. And so, good film. I don't have the Criterion version of this, but I got the 39 Steps, the Janus Films, Essential Art House. And this is a bare bones DVD. It has a great picture, but that's all it has. It doesn't have any commentary, nothing. But um, I didn't have the money at the time to get the 39 Steps Criterion on Amazon or anything, so I picked this up at Barnes & Noble, and it was worth every penny. Definitely one of his best British films. Actually, probably the best British film that he did. The next best British film that he did was... Lady Vanishes, and I got the criterion of this. 
great film. It's so funny, like, when I watch this film, because the beginning scene is a train going through a town, and the town's fake. It's just a model, and you could kind of tell it. It looks like, out, or kind of looks like um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood for a second. But it's so funny. It's such a great movie, and everybody should see this. North by Northwest, another Alfred Hitchcock masterpiece. Um, I personally just think this movie's good. I'm not really all crazy about it. I think it's a fun movie, and in fact, I like it better than a lot of his other movies, but, um, I don't know, it's, I know it's heresy to say that sometimes, but, you know, if I would, if I were to pick five Alfred Hitchcock movies to watch before I die, it probably would not be this one. These would, this would not be one of them, but it's still a very fun movie, so I recommend it. The next film is Saboteur, and great film takes place during um i think it takes place during world war ii yeah and uh it's about espionage and all this kind of stuff and you know the man on the run type theme that he does a lot got shadow of a doubt joseph cotton Teresa wright joseph cotton is like one of the best actors of all time i think citizen kane you know he's just a great theater type actor and this movie is brilliant so watch it the next film is my friend, uh, Mr. Joel 450's favorite Alfred Hitchcock film, and I could see why. It's a great film, and who could have thought you could have filmed an entire movie in a boat? This lifeboat. Great film. Alfred Hitchcock's own remake, The Man Who Knew Too Much. The first one started Peter Lorre, and I actually consider this one the superior version. I just love it. Plus, Doris Day is in it. I mean, how can you not go wrong? It's a great film. The next one is Dial M for Murder, which was remade with, um, what's his name, uh, Michael Douglas in uh, Perfect Murder. But this is definitely, I mean, what's what sells this movie for me is Grace Kelly. Anything she's in, I'll buy and I'll watch, and it's a great, a great film. Very suspenseful. The next one is the light murder mystery comedy Trouble with Harry. I think this movie's funny. It's hilarious. It's just so dry and the humor and like the fact that he just keeps popping up everywhere. It's a dead body. It's a funny movie. Shirley MacLaine's first movie. For those of you who don't know, Shirley MacLaine is the sister of Warren Beatty, which is a nice little piece of Hollywood fact. So definitely check that one out. And my last one, which is the only Hitchcock Blu-ray I have, even though I know there's only two on Blu-ray, and that's Psycho. I don't even need to say anything about this film. I just, just that alone right there is all that you need to know. The other one that's on Blu ray is North by Northwest. But, anyways, that's my Albert Hitchcock collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later.